just take a look at this. All of this flood water getting dangerously close to actually going over the barricades, which would impact the lives of those here at that RV park. The wind is still a factor and that snow is coming down, getting right into my eyes. Check this out. Normally you can see the mountains from up here, but you can see nothing. That storm moving very fast. Open floor plans are becoming more and more popular, but with that more and more dangerous. Take these couches as an example. Without those walls and barriers, nothing would stop it from catching fire and spreading rapidly, meaning that firefighters probably won't have enough time to get to your home before it became a raging inferno. Hey guys, well, it's just a beautiful day to be out for the Montana State Fair, actually that last day, and I'm getting ready to see if I am in fact a lucky duck. I'm going to pick this duck right here. I only got an S, so it's a small prize, but the good news about this game is everybody wins a prize, so perfect for someone like me. Part of these lessons included drones just like this one. Now, this drone is called the Talon. It is used for defusing bombs, but can also be weaponized. Now, it's estimated that for every one of these destroyed, at least five soldiers' lives are saved. That's right. Well, right now, the Sun River right behind me is currently in the action stage. What that means is residents should start preparing for a flood sooner rather than later. The Sun River actually has a chance of hitting both minor and moderate later in the week. If you're a big fan of caffeine just like me, the good news is you could still drink it. Say, for example, you had eight ounces of this Coke. All you have to do is also drink eight ounces of this water to balance it out and stay hydrated. So with the entire new track, I had to test it out for myself. This is my first time doing BMX, so hopefully I don't fall, but I'll give it a whirl. Let's go. Riders ready, watch the gate. Not quite so bad, but that track is definitely really nice. Ty, members of Brittany's family came to Great Falls for the past couple of days and are still very much in shock over what happened. It was like a piece of my life died that day. Loved ones of 21-year-old Brittany Roberts are remembering the day 12 days ago that Brittany went missing in the Missouri River. Until her body is recovered, um, I, I won't find any peace. Brittany's father says she was a very soft and warm-hearted person. She was engaged to be married and had a one-and-a-half-year-old son named James. Brittany's loved ones say they never saw it coming, but now their world has been turned upside down. There's still that small hope that she's going to walk through the door and tell us this was just a terrible joke, and but it's becoming a little bit more reality now. Brittany's fiance, Jessica, worked with her at Teriyaki Madness. She says they were inseparable and had big plans together, which is why Jessica searches the river every day. Yeah, I definitely thought I was going to spend the rest of my life with her. Now, the search has been complicated due to current river conditions, and the Roberts family wants to thank everybody who has helped look for Brittany so far. In Great Falls, I'm Allison Cummings, Montana, right now.